My mother's goal in life was to maintain a weight. Uh, it was a really a family effort to keep my mother thin, which meant, you know, there's a lot of sacrificing of desserts because of her <laughs> fear of eating them. Like if I ordered a dessert, there was always this question, like, you know, they bring the dessert. My mother would be like, do you really need that? No, I don't, no, what? You know. Did that give you food? Yeah, my food issues are horrible. They're horrible. Why, do I look fat? No, but I, I, right. I, but I do know on your podcast- We're good, I like you now. You, <laughs> did you think you were a fat kid? I was a fat kid, did you see the picture? I don't know if I considered him fat. Really? Yeah. Okay. Maybe. I might as well have been a monster of some kind to my mother. You know, like, the fact that she, we had to go into stores and she had to ask where the husky section was, was a parallel, it was like debilitating to her. I really think that- Was that the, humiliating to you? Yeah, sure it was. I, I still like am holding my stomach in now. Can you tell? No. I know, that's how good I am at it. Been doing it my whole life. <laughs> I mean, my mother said to me, and this was within the last five years, she said, you know, Mark, if you were fat, I don't know if I could love you. She said that recently? Recently. I used to do a joke on stage where I said, I think that for the what? first nine years of my life, my mother just saw me as her fat. And that I think if she thought if she just ate less, <laughs> that I would somehow not be an issue for her anymore. I feel like that's a great example of, of, of your sense of humor, though, because that, I don't feel like, is a joke. I feel like that comes from so much truth. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I mean, what, do you want me to cry?